can you tell me how a planet is formed under this theory? So you have a sun, and how does the sun give birth to these planets? The same way we defecate and have gas, like Jupiter's that 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 red spot on Jupiter mm-hmm. that's spinning on it. That's mm-hmm. going to become a moon. It may take a, a billion or two billion years. That will ultimately become a moon off of Jupiter. Where is it? Right at the equator. Where do we discharge at? Right at our equator. And then it will rotate its way around and slowly be pushed out by the solar wind of, of well, by Jupiter. So like coronal energy. mass ejections. Coronal mass ejections. So some kind of ejection of matter leaves the sun and over billions and billions of years, enough of it collects and there's enough of a force to where ultimately that coalescing idea that they have, those are, that's where it happens. It's not from materials that's just been left over from the Big Bang, you know, like Rupert Sheldrake says, you know, the physicists of today ask for, you give us one miracle yeah. and, you know, show yeah. us how everything came from nothing and we'll explain everything else. And they can't explain everything else. They can't under, un, explain the morphic resonance that's happening between things like right now, because I've discovered these wave conjugations, every person on the planet that's been thinking about it will now have ideas concerning but not just us but all humanoids throughout the entire universe will now get that same resonance and be able to apply it like the experiments with the rats right you teach a rat something here in london and then in new york you find the rats are doing the same thing Right. Spontaneously because of the morphic resonance. 